All right, I got a, I got a good question. Go ahead. It's probably gonna stem an argument, but oh. it's from my little sister back home, uh, Tara. She said, "Are there more doors or wheels in this world?" Mm, that's a good one. I know this is a huge conversation on the internet going around right now. It's th- an easy answer. It's not. It's, it's not an easy answer. Say it on three. What's your, okay, one, two, two, three. Wheels. Doors. Doors for sure. How is it doors? It's doors. How? It's doors, bro. Like, look, there's a door right there. There's more doors right here. There's right, doors cool. over here. All right, there's doors all over here, but there's wheels under the chair, though. That's right? cool. That's cool. There's wheels on a car. There's, there's doors, doors on a car. There's wheels on a bus. There's the doors wheels on a bus go round and round. <laughs> Yo, it's Noah. It's T Mac. We in the desert with it, but we still on island time. Welcome back to another episode. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Today we're gonna talk about our spring experiences, as well as spring ball, and we're gonna finish it up with a little Q and A. But first, we got a few announcements. First off, a shout out Liquid Death. We appreciate y'all for sponsoring this podcast. You know, uh, you can never die with Liquid Death. But on the other hand, that liquid is so good, you wanna <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, but for a shout-out Liquid Death, we appreciate the packages, the support. Uh, we also want to sh- announce that we have a, a live show, a live um, a live podcast at ATL Wings. So if y'all want to waste an hour of your day and come listen to us talk, uh, come through. And that's being put on by Crest Insurance. So uh, we appreciate you guys. Crest, like the toothpaste. Crest, Servite Crest. Shout-out Servite. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> well uh, so that's our sponsors. We appreciate you guys. Um, and now let's dive into it. Let's dive right into it. No, dive down dive, into it. Dive left into it. Right, left, down, up. In and out. Every Here we go. Team. Let's do it. Spring ball. Just finished spring ball. Uh, 15 practices, including the spring game. Uh, very recent. Um, what team was you on, though, for the spring game? I was on the red team. Shout out Coach Briggs, Adia Barnes, the winning team. Oh, dude, I was on, I was on the losing team, man. <coughs> blue team. Shout out Coach Brewski, man. Yeah, so it was a good spring game, good spring ball, all, all in all. Um, How you think you did in the little sp- uh, sp- spring uh, practices this year? It was smooth. Spring, I mean, it was, it was cool getting on the field with the coaches, being able to have that opportunity. Uh, I mean, I think, I think being on the field, an extra 15 practice, we got 15 practice under our belt. Yeah. I mean, that definitely helped coming early. Uh, now we know what to expect in, in fall ball. How 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 was everything for you? Ah, oh, please, buddy, I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, uh, it was it was cool. I had my meeting with Casey. Yes, I mean the other day, and uh, he he said that I they, did pretty solid. They did the he did the three ups three fours thingy. Three ups three four. What you mean? Oh, well, I had a meeting with Coach Dory, oh. and he was talking about the three ups three fours, like the three good things I did, the three things I I should work on. Oh shoot. Please tell us, what do you need to work on? What did you do good? <laughs> so the three Fs, the three Fs was uh, something about preparation and decision making, all that stuff. But, uh, you know, I haven't been under center in a while, so I got to work on my under center. Yeah, yeah, work. yeah. Well, why don't you like under center, no? <laughs> <laughs> not I'm, not, I'm not used to putting my hands under another man's butt, but uh, yeah. <laughs> getting, getting used to it slowly. Um, the another one was ball security. Ball security, always... Bad Ooh. ball security, bad habits. It's all good, dog. And it's then, good. no fumble yet. Not yet, huh? They can't. They could have touched people. <laughs> <laughs> no, fumbles, no fumbles yet. Uh, threw a couple picks, though, but it's all good. And then the last one was. The last one was. I forgot what the last one was. How about you? What's, oh, what dude, you got? Uh, I don't know it either. <laughs> oh, nah, but what, uh, what I got to work on, I'll just say my, my conditioning, just being in shape, getting in shape. You're putting a little weight on, aren't you? Putting a little weight on. You see me, two hundred, dog. Two hundred. Feel me? I gained, gained fifteen pounds since I've been here. Um, That's to. Nah. Nah. Don't get no credit. It's BDK to. for sure. <laughs> it's BDK, not to. To. To don't get no credit. Only liquid death. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, nah, yeah. I just need to work on my endurance. Just getting shape and everything. But uh, what what was your hardest practice? You feel like? The hardest practice might have been the scrimmage, the first scrimmage. First scrimmage? And it wasn't even hard to the point where I was gassed and tired from the... It was just hot. Hot. Speaking of hot, it was hot. But you know, since we're in the desert, if it's hot, liquid death. <laughs> <laughs> Go to liquid death when Shout you get out hot. to liquid death, man. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, for real though, it was very hot. I'm so uh, bougie. I don't even drink out of the uh, little Powerade thing they give me. I say, hey, hold me a liquid death can. <laughs> you get... <laughs> <laughs> you get dehydrated on the field. Liquid death. Liquid death. 
Liquid death. When they're dying on the field. Liquid, liquid death. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but but in all, in all seriousness, that was definitely the hardest practice for me. Uh, and then let alone, I didn't have a great practice at practice either. So adversity from the heat and the weather, but also adversity from performance. My hardest one was for sure the the first one. We were just in um, spiders. Spiders and the shorts, dying. I was dying. I wasn't, before, to, I, was, before, yeah. I wasn't used to. I wasn't used to the tempo yet. No, nah, yeah, that was our first practice. That's before we kind of got used to everything being on the field. Oh, dude, I was huffing and puffing, dude. <laughs> that was that was one of our easier practices too. I mean, nah, but I mean, you th- would you say that's the biggest challenge right now? The the getting used to the heat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I, I think so. I would say so. Yeah. Nah, so spring. I mean, spring ball was good though. Uh, do you think it's gonna help you for the season? I mean, you're yeah. already running with the ones though, so. So that definitely helps. Uh, another thing, I mean, the spring game, obviously that passed recently. Uh, great turnout, atmosphere was great. Yeah, it was cool. How, how much people do you think we had? Like, they said eight. Yeah, they I said eight thousand. Oh, I don't dude, think we uh, hit ten. Coach Fist lied to us, dude. He said there was supposed to be fifteen thousand. Oh, players about it. Nah, but they, <laughs> <laughs> we had eight thousand at the spring game. Uh, they had a bunch of water fights. Water fights. A bunch of water fights. I, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, he, he, he was on the home side, so he was on the zone yeah. side. I was on the away side. Oh, please, buddy. I had like four people in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one guy laying back. Yeah, one guy no. laying back. I promise. Now nah, we laughed at the end of the game, but now nah, we had a couple of water fights. Uh, I mean, the atmosphere was different. Yeah. Even though it was only 8,000 people, I yeah. mean, the, the introduction video. The introduction, oh, yeah, that's, that was The introduction tight, video was yeah, actually was tight. tight. Shout out Kim Becker and the media team for that. Nah, but. Uh, I know I know. there's a lot of uh, Arizona alumni over there. Well, I mean, everybody knows uh, Teddy Bruschi, Lance Braves, and all that. But they had J.J. Taylor out there. J.J. Taylor. Khalil Tate was there. Khalil Tate was over there. Wasn't even paying attention to the game, just playing with the fans. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually. Nah, but Khalil Tate. I, he, saw, I, I, see, I seen, uh, shout out Lil Lecky, man. Saw, <laughs> <laughs> bro, he <laughs> was, Lecky was drenched. Lecky, man. <laughs> Oh, please, buddy. He didn't hit nobody, but everyone hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I would think he had a water gun in him, but nah, the the whole water fights. I, I Jaden freaking Delora poured water on me after the game. Wasn't he expecting did? that. Yeah. Um, I know, I know that. I mean, that day it was what, like 95 degrees? It was cool, though, for me. Were you, you were hot? I was hot. I was actually cool. Like, the whole time I wasn't, I was it hot. wasn't that bad for me. I was hot. Maybe, oh, please, buddy. Maybe it's because I wasn't playing the whole first half. I know. But you played the whole second half. Nah, but How'd you do when you got in though? It was smooth. Threw a touchdown pass, touchdown. but uh, you know, missed Singer a couple times. Missed him on two go routes. It's all good though. It's all good. Came it's out with good. the victory. Red team came out with the victory. Yeah. Uh, refs had a cheat for you guys a little bit to keep you in the game. I know. Shout out Sam Thomas, man. We really needed you. Sam Thomas, our basketball, the really real basketball you. player. Oh please, she caught up. She caught up. That was a good catch too. It was. Good. Oh, we saw Bro. her extend. Jo- Jordan, Jordan almost overthrew her. No. Jordan almost overthrew her. It's embarrassing. <laughs> good, great catch by Sam Thomas. No. Uh, I think she just I just saw on Twitter she got a she got a um tryout with the Oh, oh yeah with the, uh, with the WNBA team. That's yeah. pretty cool. I don't know what team that is, but yeah, that that's that's Um huge. you guys kinda stole our play there, bro. I know. We had the we had a basketball coach, we had a DM oh, Barnes dude, on our hey, side. Co- coach Fish felt really bad for us on that fourth quarter drive. Uh I think he felt bad for you the whole second half. <laughs> no, a lot seriously. of sack calls, a lot of seriously. pass interference calls. Uh, no, no, no. They're, no, they're, bro, they were passing the fierce calls were bad. On, no, no, only one. The C Rose one was not a bad. PI. C Rose one was not a PI. Yeah, that was a, that was a they, they called some sacks on y'all that were not sacks though. I mean that were they called they missed some sacks that were sacks. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Nah, but <laughs> who's the standouts? KG, KG did his thing again. He was tired. <laughs> KG yeah. was gas. KG sold. KG sold on the uh, the reverse. Yeah, KG. The did. first drive. Yeah, and then nah, uh, but yeah, KG ball. That's what KG he's been doing good. all spring. Jackson uh, Turner did good. He Jackson had like Turner. A, well, Jackson Turner might have got caught by Jordan McLeod if, <laughs> <laughs> if the D line wasn't there. Uh, nah, Jackson Who did his thing. Do? The uh, zero, zero balled again. D five had a couple of good catches. Sing still beat you in yards though. It's all good. That's on me though. That's on me. Uh, nah, that's all good. I how about the most targets. how about what's it called? Gunner did good. I was shocked Gunner that Gunner balled. Gunner did good. I was dude. shocked that Gunner balled. I hated that he balled. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Shout out to Gunner. Gunner, Gunner Cruz. Cruz got the most on-field trip. Gunner, sure. he made he made it past spring. We thought he was gonna get cut after the spring game. He made it. Congratulations, Gunner. <laughs> Congratulations to Gunner. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, but nah, yeah, Gunner. I was actually surprised on how how good Gunner did. Hey, he threw me a touchdown, man. So how big Jonah do? Can't complain. Big Jonah, 
He did pretty good, I think. Familia, Ainga, <laughs> Ohana. Ohana. <laughs> pretty good, guys. You, we need to work on your capture game, but your, your on-field game wasn't bad this yeah, week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he did pretty good. Oh, hey, all, all the survey boys scored. Ken Burnett. You threw a touchdown. I, forgot about I scored Burnett. a touchdown, and Ken scored a touchdown. So shout Not out to all Ken. the survey boys. Check out Mano, they really do anything. Oh, but he was on the sideline. You see him? <laughs> he didn't really do anything. He was on the sideline reading. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Jake and Manu. Oh, uh, man, when you come here, it's going to. I had to live with him for a day. One night. I stayed with him for one night, and I already wanted him out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, Sam Chung. Sam Chung got a good tackle on T Mac. Oh, dude. Hey, Sam Chung, dude. You're dirty. You hit me on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, buddy. My leg was hurting. Uh, AJ Jones. AJ Jones scored. Shout out, AJ. Uh, CY. What's CY do? <laughs> I don't um, know CY did. <laughs> I don't know CY did anything. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my boy Christian Young, uh, C Row, Jack. Who we missing? Pretty much everybody, huh? Remember. Yeah, that's all I can remember. But yeah. I, I did pretty good. I went for 104, 104. 104. 104. That's solid. With a, with one touchdown, that's smooth. One touchdown, solid. I had I mean, the most targets. Coach Doherty brought out all the trick plays for you guys. I know. How about, how about shout out JD, man? Shout out JD for his dive. Didn't touch the oh, ball. Dumb. He did touch the ball, but hey. Hey, that was That's dumb. all that matters. A plus for effort. <laughs> effort that's effort. all that matters. That's, that's one of the things you can control is effort. And, and buddy, attitude. You controlled it. <laughs> you, you controlled it. Oh, Just the ball was a little bit too far. <laughs> uh, now, let's jump into the QA. Noah, start us off. So, uh, this week we asked our followers, we put a. Uh, Q and A on the on our Instagram and our followers asked us some questions, so we appreciate you guys um, helping, and we'll be answering some to some of your questions. So, first question from Brazen: uh, What's your favorite Hawaiian food? My favorite Hawaiian food will probably be Kalua pig. Speaking of speaking of food, since we asked about Hawaiian food, what's your favorite Tonga food? My favorite Tonga food is probably uh, horse. Nah, nah, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> not lying. Nah, my favorite Tonga food is probably uh, Lou Kapapulu, uh, corned beef with corn coconut beef. milk and uh, and, and some uh, leaves. Oh, oh, oh you know yeah, what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, what did y'all call that? I was just la la, but it's like it's pork. Y'all was just corned beef. Well, we have different. We got corned beef. We got oh. lamb. Oh. It's, just, it's all different stuff. I know in someone it's called. Uh, What's it called? So you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but they uh, have it too. What's yeah, it called though? We probably all have. Single. How am I supposed to know? I don't know. <laughs> all right. All right let's let's, question, let's see question, the next, next one. Question. Next question. Next question. Next question is: Who was your first offer from, and how did you feel from that's numb ten? My first offer was actually from my uncle. I paid him to <laughs> offer me. I paid him to offer me. Nah. Idaho State University, uh, he was the D-line coach there. Um, I got a offer from the the OC at the time, the offensive coordinator. Um, I think his name was Coach Ferret or something like that. But I mean, I was grateful. Uh, it was a, it's a funny story because I actually I went we went to camps that that year. You didn't come with us because you were big time. But we went to camps that year. It was <sighs> me, Zeddy, um, some Noah Avenger, some of them, and we went to BYU, we went to Utah, Weaver State, and we went to Idaho State camp. And uh, that's the that's the only camp that we went to where I didn't want the offer, cause I didn't want people thinking want, yeah. I didn't want people thinking like oh I only got the offer cause my uncle, uh, but um, I had a good camp and then they ended up offering me after, and it actually it still felt good. He told yeah. me he told me he was like I want you to know that your uncle doesn't even know we're in here doing this, um, but we're gonna offer you. So uh, that was it was a good feeling and looking back I'm kind of happy it came from his school. Yeah. How about you? What was your my, first offer? My first offer was the University of Nevada, Reno. Oh, please, buddy. They didn't even offer me. <laughs> I think I remember that. That's yeah, we were at school they, walking, they called right? Coach, Yeah, they called Coach Thomas and told him. They didn't tell me to, uh later that night. But, uh, nah, uh, Timmy Chang offered me. He from he another Hawaii boy, too. Ho uh, uh, University of Hawaii legend, huh? Yeah. Their hashtag is hard. He's, he's the head coach at UH oh, right yeah, now. Oh, yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, he's the oh, yeah, yeah. head coach at UH. Yeah, uh, yeah. Their hashtag's hard. What is it? Uh, brotherhood. That's you hard. Seen it? It's nah, hard. That's hard though. Nah, but, but yeah. Hey, shout, shout out Timmy Chang. He said that uh, I will never forget my first offer, and I know I never will. So shout out him. It's kind of tight. That's coming back from a, from a hometown hero too. Yup. All right. Next question. Uh, this is from McKay the third. Got a good little question here. Uh, how's it feel to be a core building block for U of A's future? And a follow up question: Can the juice make us a national contender? Ooh. 
Ooh, I know. Yeah, we got we got the number one class right now. We expect to do big things, and we for sure gonna do big things. And can the juice be a contender? Most definitely. definitely. Most I mean, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this why we this is why we came here. This is why we came here together to turn this around. And I mean, it feels like survive in a sense. Yeah. Like a core core group coming together to us to a team that's kind of at the bottom right yeah, now. Yeah, rebuilding. Nah, but uh, you know, he said he talked about us being a core building block. I mean, you're the highest rated recruit here. How's that feel? Uh, I mean, it's solid. It's whatever. I mean, when you get into college, it really all the stars and all the hype that you got in high school really just goes away. Nah, I feel that. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's whatever. But uh, I feel like besides myself, I feel like we got a good class. Uh, with you, Jonah, Ken, Big Jonah, and Little Jonah, AJ, G7, Efi. And we got more on the way. We got Speedy, another Chain League guy. We got one <clears> more for server. I forgot his name. Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, let's I move on. I, heard, I, forgot, <laughs> I forgot his name. Nah, let's but move on. Definitely, that's a great question. The juice yeah. is definitely going to make Arizona contender. Yeah, and, I mean, that's what we're here to do. Y'all better watch out. Y'all better watch out. Arizona on the come up. So the next one is from our boy Samurai. Samurai. What's that right? So, so shout out to Samurai. He said, what would happen if Servite played Sen Ten? Mm. We just had that argument with him actually. Yeah, the yeah the other night. If Servite, oh, so Sen Ten said Corona Centennial, they finished number four. They probably four won, number Cali. three, number three in Cali. Yeah. They 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 lost to Modern Day by five points. They known for their defense though, and Servite we were known for our offense. So, I mean that would have been a game. It would have been a game for sure, but man. I don't know, bro. I don't think they can stop our offense. Yeah, they got they got a good defense. Shout out to Jaden. Nah, their Mickey. defense legit. Jaden Mickey, Samurai Notre on Dame commit. Too. Shout out to him. Uh, they got their D line was real good. Yeah, they got some dogs over Only there. Only I mean, bro, they would have tried to man you up with Jaden Mickey. They would have tried to bring the house. Yeah, they would have tried to blitz us for sure. I don't know. I think we win. <coughs> How yeah, you, yeah. Nah. How's that? How's our defense doing? Nah, our defense is good. I think our defense is really good. Our defense would be set though, cause they just gonna try to run the ball on us. Yeah. Well, you got to think about it, though. These guys really gave up 21 points to Monday Day, though. Stopped them four times in the red zone. I know. That's good. But that's Monday Day. That's not Servite. That's not us. That's not the the Noah, Noah Fafita and T-Mac connection. You know no, what I mean? It's not the Juice connection. Not the Juice connection. I feel that. The Juice is worth the squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Samurai, to answer your question... We're beating y'all for Survive sure. winning, my boy. <laughs> We're beating. Survive winning. Sam, I love you, my boy. Yeah. We're going to see you in Tucson soon, you and your sister. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and, and whoever the, your the other, the other yeah, dude, brother-in-law. Whoever that I is. I forgot his name, but we'll yeah. see you guys all in Tucson yeah. soon. But we're beating y'all for sure. Uh, next question from Corey Panapa. His little brother played on Dash's team. Um, but he asked, how long do we, have we known each other? Five? Five years. Five, almost six years. 2017. 2017. Yeah, yeah, 2017. And then That's a follow-up long. question. Um, where's the follow-up question? There's a follow-up question that talked about um, why we're close. Why why did we become close? I mean, we we kind of hit on it. Yeah. I don't know. Why did we become close? I guess it's just the Polynesian connection, really. The Polynesian connection. <coughs> and I, feel like I think we're both similar in a sense. Uh, family. Football. <laughs> similar, uh, huh, Not similar, but similar. Similar. You know? Yeah. I think we just have a lot of a lot of similarities. Yeah, but my, my, mostly uh, just the Polynesian connection, just us two both being Polynesian, we kind of just flock to each other. Not, not like that, but. <laughs> 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 All right, the next one is from K. Dot. Was that Chavo? The Servite and Modern Day rivalry. Oh, please, buddy, it's, it's not, not a rivalry. A rival. yeah, it's not really a rivalry. <laughs> hey, mean, uh, hey, no, uh, tell me, uh, record. You, ever, you, record. you, ever, <laughs> you ever be Modern Day ever in your career? Uh, let me think. Let me count. Let me count. <laughs> I think we're 0 and 10. Dog, that's so embarrassing. No, more than that. Bro, it wasn't really a rivalry. We're 0 and 11. We uh, played in championship year last year. No, bro, we lost what? freshman year. I'm not counting varsity because we didn't play. We lost sophomore year. We lost junior year. We lost senior year twice. When I was counting, I was counting Bosco too. That's my fault. We were, oh. 0, we were 0 and 5 against Modern Day in our high school career. Um, That's just a, So I, I wouldn't say a rivalry. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. say much of a rivalry. Uh, yeah. 
I know. I mean, I know you did. You did track two. Did you ever beat them in that? <laughs> Come on, bro. Did you, did you ever beat them in that? <laughs> I beat them in golf. I beat them in golf. Oh I think I beat them in golf one year, but football. Football is where you guys are asking. Not yeah. much. Of, not much of a rivalry in football. That's for sure. But I'm saying, have you ever beat them in any of any other? I, I beat them when I was in seventh grade. Uh, we beat them in four verts. Come on. Uh, I, actually, their receiver was T Mac. We locked them up. Isaac Figueroa locked them up. Uh, Two and zero against them in seven on seven. Oh my gosh. I yeah. I only beat my day like. You beat them in volleyball, though, right? I beat them in volleyball my freshman year twice. Uh, sophomore year, I think we beat them. All right. Next question. Is it my turn? Yes, sir. Right, this one's coming from Jack Kane. <coughs> Shout out, Jack Jack. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do outside of football? Sleep. Sleep or just cruise with the boys, cruise with you, cruise. Jonah. Jam. Do you, do you have a little, set, little, little, little jam sesh? Do you have a, do you have a, some people call it like an escape or like a safe, like a safe haven. Do you have something outside of football where you just, where you go there, everything's gone? Like you just in the moment? Nah. No. Not really. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> my mine mine's probably golf. Like going to golf with my dad, that's kinda where all my all my worries kinda go away. Just being in the moment. Yeah. Put my phone down. I'm not very good, but just chilling on the golf course pretty smooth. I feel like damn, you don't like cruising with me? Not really. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> nah, so see, see I mean, this, this is what y'all nah, don't see. Like, nah, it's, it's, it's all, it's all sun, sunshine and rainbows when we come on this podcast. We fake, yeah, we, we faking oh it for the camera. Gosh. We faking it for the camera for sure. Two face, for real. Nah, but I mean, we'll, we'll hang out. We'll, I'll be at T Max house sometimes. He's lying. I'll be at T Max house sometimes. Don't really enjoy it. Feel like feel like I'm not welcome there. But I'll be over there chilling with him and Jade, just just hanging out, talking. Yes, sir. So the Go next ahead, one man. is from Jordan Lucas. Shout out my boy Jordan. What was your experience at Servite? Uh, it was. I mean, first off, it's all boys, so it was different. Yeah. I mean, coming in, coming in, we didn't know what to expect. Uh, I didn't think I was going to like it very much, but I think just because we were kind of with our boy, like the dudes we grew up with, uh, me, you, Ace, Wes, all them, um, that other Tongan Mexican kid, you know, it definitely <laughs> it definitely helped. It yeah, definitely helped just being with each other. I mean, I, I honestly don't think I would have went to Survive if it was just me. Yeah, no, nah, like, for sure. I if mean, I wasn't there with you guys, if I wasn't there for football, I definitely wouldn't have went to Survive. Yeah, no, definitely not. I wouldn't have gone there by myself for sure. Nah, but, but the the teachers, the faculty's cool. Cool. Super cool. Yeah, shout out Mr. Creasy, Mr. Showman. Shout out all of them. Miss Poyer. It, it's, it, it's, shout out Miss Poyer. Miss Poyer. It's, oh. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Miss Poyer, though, man. Uh, uh, shout we out, we shout out Carly. Kids. It was Carly's birthday yesterday. No. Yeah, I saw that on her Instagram. It was her did, birthday did you yesterday. Wish her birthday? I had a wish. I didn't. I feel. So, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't. No, worries. Carly. I didn't know. He, I'm not gonna lie. I, I remember my roots. He, he's big time now. That's crazy. Highest rated recruit in Tucson. I already forget about the, about the people back home. That's crazy. Nah, nah, nah. but definitely faculty, academics. Uh, the master's in theology class. That was pretty cool. I think I grew up my faith there. So. Survive was, I, I think it was cool. Yeah. Just because, I mean, like, you you hit it on the nail, but, like, just because we went to, came into Survive with, like, 20-plus boys. So, I mean, um, it, it, it was, was easier for, uh, yo. What nail are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny guy. Funny guy. <laughs> nah, nah, but uh, <laughs> the, th the teachers was cool, for sure, and the, the students, too, was cool. Like, they yeah. showed us up. Like all the football players love, especially me and you. This and is we, a, we was not we was nice people, you know. Yeah, we was cool people. Now nah, this everybody. is a this is a something that I heard um, while I was at Servite, and I want to know your opinion on it. But people say that because it's an all boys school, there's no girls there. Everybody's themselves. You agree with that? Everyone is themselves. Yeah, like people are are acting to try to impress girls. Oh yeah, I, I believe that. I mean, they, we don't wake up every morning trying to like you know if we went to co-ed school, some people would just wake up. Try to put gel look, in their yeah, hair, all that stuff. Like all that stuff. That. Try to do the extras just to look good for school. But some people, I, I'm, oh, please, buddy. I know a lot <laughs> of people are somebody like that just wake up, don't even brush their teeth. Nah, but yeah, nah, for sure. I, I, I definitely feel like uh, just being at um, all boys school, like everyone can be themselves. They don't got to worry about nothing else. Don't got to uh, try to impress nobody. All right. I got a, I got a good question. Go ahead. It's probably going to stem an argument. But. Oh. It's from my little sister back home, uh, Tara. She said, are there more doors or wheels in this world? 
Mm, that's a good one. I know this is a huge conversation on the internet going around right now. The, the, I, that's an easy answer. It's not. It's, it's not an easy answer. What's Stand your, on three. What's your, okay, one, two, two, three, wheels. Doors. Doors, for sure. How is it doors? It's doors. How? It's doors, bro. Like, look, there's a door right there. There's more doors right here. There's right, doors cool. over here. All right, there's doors all over here, but there's wheels having the chair, though. That's right? cool. That's cool. There's wheels on a the car. But, there's, there's doors on the car. There's wheels on a the bus. There's the doors wheels on, on the bus go round and round. <laughs> <laughs> there's now, doors on the car. But there's okay, but there's wheel okay, but there's more wheels. You talk about a bus, you have one you have one door, two doors. How many wheels are there? On the bus? There's yeah. four. Huh? Four okay, wheels. there's no, there's no there's more than that. There's four. some in the middle too. No, there's not. That's a big race. You talking about? Okay, I'm talking about big race then. You talking about big race? <laughs> no, but bro, you think? Look, look. Think of it like this, bro. You're on like you're on a 20 story building. Uh huh. Go ahead. Okay, go. What's your argument? A go. 20 story building. 20 story building, bro. Okay. Go ahead. With a bunch of rooms. Okay. How many doors do you think that is? Like a hotel, for example. How many All right, doors? Cool. All right. In every hotel, there's a chair with four wheels on it. Not every chair has a wheel, bro. Pretty much. No. All right. We talk about bikes. We talk about scooters. They don't have doors. We talking about. We talking about. <laughs> what's Jaden's little thing? Skateboards. There's no doors on skateboards. One wheel. <laughs> there's not one wheel on a skateboard. That, no, no one he rides. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, well, bro, bro. There's more talk- doors for sure. Even, bro. Even like the little Hot Wheels. That's the door. The little. Uh, okay. Wheels. <laughs> Any, any <laughs> argument you have for a door, there's, no, you can argue for no, wheels. Bro, I don't yes, think you so. can. There's more doors for sure. I there's, think. there's definitely not bro, more doors. Not every chair has. Okay, a... every chair, every table. You tell me, not every table, but there's tables with wheels. No, bro, not every table has a wheel. Plane. Every every car has a door. Okay, and every car has wheels. How are you gonna drive a car with no wheels? Plane has a door. No, not every car has a door. You could jump in for the top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real. What, what, you can climb over. What car is that? I used to have a, I used to have a Escalade, like a, like a little Escalade. Uh, you know, like the little, but you put a battery in, and it's like a little. Car. <laughs> <laughs> but there's doors. Okay, but they you don't, don't open. But there's doors. <laughs> <laughs> there's not a door if it doesn't open. What do you mean? There's not a door if it doesn't open. Bro, but you, but it simulates a door. Okay, but it's not a door. It doesn't it's open. It's a door. It's considered a door, bro. If you have a toy car and it doesn't open, it's a door. The definition of a door. Is open. <laughs> open bro, there's for sure a wheel. No, it's bro. wheels. No, bro. It's a do- it's doors. I- you know those little things. You know those little things in the weight room where the little hamstring things, wheels on there. Well, it don't matter. It it's matters. Still, it's still doors. I think it's doors. Go. So. Give me one more argument about a door, and I'm a, there's wheels on it. Go. No, give I'm me one thing. I'm where done arguing. Man. <laughs> it's wheels. I no, think I won that argument. Do- no. No. It's you, doors. You just said you're done arguing. It's doors. Bro, it's and bus. Bro, bu- bro, bus? What you mean? It yeah. has two doors in the back. The two doors in the back to open it. Or what? Jay, what do you think? It's like man. two or one. What do I think? Yeah. yeah. I think that there's more wheels in the world. Thank you. you have to wheels. Like, no, no, no. You have to look at, like, the majority of the world. Like, the majority of the world operates in a way where, like, most people don't have, like, most people don't have cars. But you got to think about... In other countries, they have like motorcycles and bicycles. Motorcycles. You gotta think about that. But they all have they the all, Batmobile has they, four wheels. They all live in the house, and if they don't live in the house, they they live in something with the door. No, you don't have to have a door to live in the house. <laughs> yes, you do, bro. No, it could just be an open place. You just walk in. No, bro. bro it's, it's, I'm the, trying to tell you, it's wheels. No, nah, it's doors, bro. It's doors. Trying to I tell think you it's wheels. doors, bro. I think it's doors. Conversation. Right, go ahead. Next question. It's wheels for sure. Doors for sure. Let's see. What's the next one? Favorite sports teams from Uncle Uncle Gelly. <laughs> favorite sports team. Uh, my favorite sports team is the Ravens. My, the Ravens team? because of him. Because of Uncle Kelly. Team? Yeah, he played on the Ravens. And uh, I think it was in 2008. I was five at the time. Uh, he took me into the locker room and I had I had lunch. So I met Ray Lewis. I met Haloti. And then I had lunch with Ed Reed. So I think from then on, I just became a Ravens fan. And plus, at that time, they were good. Yeah. So I kind of just made it easy. (laughs) Whoa, (laughs) bandwagon. You heard it here, folks. It's because they were good. I could have been a Patriots fan. My other uncle was was at the Patriots. You know, uh, I had a a signed football from Tom Brady, and my dad sold it. For how much? I don't remember. I think free. I think he put it on. But I think he sold it for free. That's actually embarrassing. That's actually embarrassing. Yeah. Dude, but nah, my my favorite NFL team. I don't have one. Don't What's want. your favorite team though? You, you have to have a favorite, like not not NFL. Oh, ba- baseball, Yankees. 
Yeah, yeah, he's Cause of Loco? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cause of Derek Jeter? No, I'm serious. That's actually it. That's your favorite baseball player? Yeah. Ben Connie actually asked me who your favorite baseball player was. Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter. I don't so, know why I just I was You got a basketball team? Nah, I don't watch basketball. I don't Next question. From Let's see. Who's that? From Jay Avina. Jay Avina. Six six seven seven. School and football balance, what's your best advice? What did, hey, what did Teddy Bruschi say? What did Teddy Bruschi say about us? About managing your Compartmentalize. Time? Compartmentalize. So, Explain hey, it. I don't think they know what that Compartmentalize, means. Compartmentalize, man. Just get your priorities straight, pretty much. If something is not that urgent or that serious, put it back here. Put it behind <laughs> put it back, you. Put it back here. But Wait, it, why compartments, so, though? So Something important, put it in the front. Compartments, what you mean? Why, why do they say compartments? Compartmentalize. You weren't paying attention to Coach Brewski. Yes, I was. I just explained it. <laughs> <laughs> putting it in boxes, putting it in compartments. You got family, football, school, all that stuff. And when you're in school, just focus on school. When yeah. you're in football, when you're on a football field, in the weight room, focus on football. So, I mean, that kind of goes back to my favorite quote, you know? What is that? Be where your feet are? You know me so well. <laughs> oh my God. Be where your feet How are. How cute. Uh, kind of being in the moment. Uh, like I said, when you're in meetings, be in meetings. Don't be in football meetings thinking about your math test yeah. and that stuff. So that's our best advice. Yeah. So this one, uh, uh, a couple of people asked me this. OC Buckeyes. Let's talk about OC Buckeyes. Oh, what's it called? Ask me that too. Who's that? Waka. Oh, buddy, that's what I was looking at. Save emojis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Waka Hansen, dude. Waka really wants us to talk about him. OC Buckeyes. OC Buckeyes. So Orange County Buckeyes, Juice County. Uh, it's an organization my dad started. Um, but it's a youth organization, and I think I think even more than an organization, it's a family. Yeah. They say our family versus your team. So and that's where we met. Yeah, that's where we met. That's where well, that's where I met a lot of a lot of my boys today. Actually, shout out Saya 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 Laban <laughs> and Toa Mo. <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out him though, uh, all, all the boys on the team. I just feel like uh, when I was at the Buckeyes, I just had a great experience. Like you said, it's a family atmosphere more than a, a, a team one, uh, and I think that's what just that's what made us good. That's why we won the national championship that year. Yeah, we were just close. So we've been in the running since 2016. Yeah. So that's we had five seasons with the Buckeyes. Uh, we our first year, we went we lost in the state championship. Uh, our second year is when T-Mac came. We won the national championship. Um, the next year, they, they had a falling off a little bit. Unfortunately, they struggled. Yeah. Uh, and then they, just, they struggled the next two years. In the last two years, we lost in the national championship. Then we won the national championship last year. That was my little brother's team, Dash. Uh, they won that year. Yeah, they just won this past uh, uh, year. For so the they, they're starting to get on the national stage. Yeah. Uh, Ali, you know Ali from Under the Radar? He said that. He went to one practice and he said, "This is the best. Uh, but this has a chance to be the best Buckeyes team." What team is that? The team this year. Oh, buddy, he's tripping. He's tripping for sure. Uh, their little quarterback's legit though, Reagan. <coughs> Every, everyone, special. everyone knows that our our 14U team, our 14U Buckeyes team, was the best Buckeyes had ever. You make an argument that we're the best youth team? <sighs> yeah, it's close. It's close. Who who who? Uh, you know what's crazy? The last year, Dash's team last year. They're the first. They're the first team to go undefeated since Bryce Young. In youth, yeah, ever. Well, fourteen. Oh, what? Fourteen. To so be undisputed national champions since Bryce Young's year. Dang. Bryce or JT, one of them. I forgot which one. Dang. The IE Ducks. They so they're saying they're the best Buckeye team. Nah, it's it's tripping. Definitely not. We'll blow them out. I'm sorry, guys. All right. What's another question. one though? Hit us with it. All right. This is a question just for you, from Kodak Nico. Did T Mac change his commitment just for you? Just for me. <laughs> Am I that special to you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, you were a big part of it, but I just felt like uh, I was just, they were the only place that was loyal to me and sh showed me the most love and that I felt the most comfortable. But, oh, please, buddy, it was definitely not because of you, buddy. <laughs> you just said most. <laughs> huh? That's cool. Part, it's part. Most. I just put nope, part. You said most. Part of it. It's part of the reason, not the most reason or the most. Yeah, let me shut up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see another one. 
Goals, this is from uh, Bijang underscore five. Goals for yourself as a team for this upcoming year. Whoa. Goals for yourself and, for and as team. a team for this upcoming year. But let's just talk about ourselves. Well, no, nah, I mean, goals for our, our teams win the pack. Like, we try to go pack two. Oh, yeah, but we try to go to the Rose Bowl. Yeah. Goals for myself. Mmm. Goals for myself. <laughs> Is over a, a thousand yards too much for oh, a freshman? Go for yourself. Like, I'm trying to get over a thousand for sure. That's legit. That's pretty much a hundred a game, right? You have you have a little leeway. Yeah, we got twelve games. Hundred a game, pretty much. Th yeah, I'll say that's that's a goal for me. Just probably get a thousand. Uh, that's a good goal. Season. That'd be different as a freshman. That'd when, be nasty. And, and when get on the uh, All American freshman All American team, that'd be tight. That'd be hard. I mean, for me, I'm trying to play. That's that's the biggest goal for me. We're just trying to play this year. Yeah, that's hard. What are we, looking for? <laughs> we got probably one more question each. Yeah, one more question each. <coughs> see. The next question. You got one? Yeah, I got one. Go this is from. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is from back shots on the NCAA. <laughs> But uh, they, they said, uh, why you chose to leave home for college? Oh. For me, uh, I never I never wanted to go to college in uh, California. I've, I've always wanted to get out of California. Why is that? I don't know. I have no reason. I just they didn't want to stay in California. I just want to venture off somewhere else. For me, uh, I, did, I didn't get the, the hometown offers until late. Uh, USC and UCLA both came in after I was already committed and right before I signed. Uh, I had Fresno State and Cal Berkeley, but I mean, at the end of the day, it, it was never by location for me. Uh, I mean, I always tell people, if I had a chance, if, if the U of A was like in San Diego State's location, I'd be happy, like that'd be a yeah. great spot for me. Uh, we have a lot of kids, <coughs> we have a lot of kids here at U of A that are from Phoenix and like from that area, so they yeah, drive home true. whenever they want. That's true. So that'd be cool for me, but just being able to be like two hours away. I never wanted to be right next to home. <clears throat> like I always wanted like the independence kind of. Yeah. So we live by myself and kind of go through the struggles that I would have to go through by myself. Yeah. But uh, not, I mean, I, our stories were different because yeah. I didn't have the, oppor the opportunity to stay home. Yeah, I feel that, I feel that. Uh, final question for me. Oh, you got it. You got a good question? Uh, what's yours? I don't know, I'm trying to go through them right now. Liar, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, right here. This this last ahead, one right bro. here, from uh, Ryder Barnes. The recruiting process. How was the recruiting process? I mean, I think once again we got different stories again. Yeah. But I think for both of us, we never took the recruiting process too serious. Yeah. We never got caught up with the stars. I mean, I think that's a. I'm not even gonna compliment you on camera right now. I did that last week, but. Uh, with with who? With uh, Yogi Bear. <laughs> 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 nah, but. Uh, the recruiting process for me it was a slow one it kind of got started my soft I got my first offer after my freshman year and then I got one during my sophomore and then it really picked up during quarantine um, yeah and then even after I committed I got some more offers but uh, it was a, it was kind of a slow process gradual process for me but all in all it was great talking to coaches um, being able to go to some games and I think one of the coolest things was when you were offered by a, a school it was probably even cooler for you but like when I would watch the team that I was offered by on, on TV uh -huh. and kind of see the coaches that I yeah, talked to on tight. the phone, it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's actually tight. So, actually. I mean, I think my best example was Cal. Uh, I was talking to the offensive coordinator, Coach Musgrave, uh -huh. and and then that like the next week or the next year we would watch Cal and it, you'd see him walking on the field. Yeah. So I think that was pretty cool. And then um, I think the exposures. I mean, we never did it for the cameras, either one of us, yeah. but kind of the interviews and all that stuff, that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's true. Uh, me, on the other hand, uh, I was highly recruited, but I tell everybody that like the recruiting process is a blessing and a curse at the same time. Uh, I mean, it, it's, I mean, obviously it's, it's, a, it's a blessing and I'm very grateful that I get like free college and I get to play division one football for free. But uh, it, it could get hectic at times. I mean, NCAA r rules are pretty stupid. So but like, like some sometimes they can't call you. Sometimes they can't call you. But when they can call you or when they can text you, best believe they go hit your phone. 
But uh, I, I, like you said, I, I never got uh, deep into that stuff. I kind of just stayed true to myself and like, like the ball was in my court. You feel yeah. Me? The ball was always in my court so I could control the whole scenario. But um, that's pretty much it. So that wraps it up with the Q&A. We appreciate you guys um, interacting, asking questions. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, we'll be able to do some more stuff like this. So, Yeah, so make sure y'all follow us on uh, social media. My Instagram is tmac96795. My Instagram is Tongan Pino. So, yeah, just be on the lookout. We're going to post more questions on our, on our story. So make sure y'all tap in. Just let us know what you want us to answer, what you want us to talk about. It could be music. could be fashion. It could be anything, something silly, something goofy. Marvel, anything, anything you want. We're, we're always interested in just to get y'all, get y'all a little insight on uh, what we think. And so, yeah. So we don't really want to make this about just football. So we'll be able to y'all send us topics. We'll bring guests on and we'll talk about those topics and yes, sir. Uh, make this interesting. But I mean, once again, we want to shout out Liquid Death. So yeah. So that pretty that. much wraps it up for this episode. Yeah. So appreciate y'all tuning in. Stay on the lookout for the next episode of Island Time in the Desert. It's Noah. It's T Mac. My law. Shoot. Hey!